Austin, talk about what happened there in that third quarter where it just got out of hand so fast. Uh, third quarter, uh, they kept running some ISOs uh, right up the middle. We, can, we uh, were having a little trouble on the blocking scheme. Uh, uh, good running back. Uh, their McCutcheon running back was very good. He had great vision. Uh, was, he was just seeing the hole and uh, bouncing out to the outside. We just trying to chase him down. Just didn't happen. The, the offense turned the ball over, I think, twice there very early to put you guys back out on the field once again. That's something that you've been, I guess, kind of you've done so far this year. You've come out and responded defensively, but it didn't happen tonight. Do you guys get tired or something there in, the, in that second half? Uh, we can be a little tired. Uh, we, got, we got a pretty good defense. Uh, we bounced back pretty good. Uh, it's just uh, they, they outplayed us when we had those situations. Uh, we couldn't really follow up on it. What did Coach say to you guys after the game? Because I know you still got three games left in the NCC in the tournament, uh, but it appears you're behind the eight ball in the NCC to win this thing this year. But what did he say to you? Uh, Coach, Coach Ingram just talked about how uh, we never gave up. Uh, defense kept kept coming out and fighting, uh, just trying to make plays that we hadn't made plays before. And uh, talked about taking that into life and uh, how it affected us and how it would make us a successful football team and bouncing back and uh, never giving up. Well, you do. You know what? You got next week. So how quickly to put this one behind you and then think about Lafayette? Uh, tomorrow we got to watch film on this game and correct ourselves and get better. And then uh, we put that one back behind us. And on Monday we go get Lafayette Jeff uh, get a W.